Welcome to Cozy Corner. My name is Caleb, and I am here to do the rest of June 2019 for the Scorpios, as my cousin Ken can like to call them the Scorpios. But I'm gonna grind myself, and then we're gonna do my prayer, and then we're gonna get right into y'all reading Scorpios. for God, the universe, the divine, my spirit guides, and my positive ancestors and any other positive forces to give me a reading for Scorpios for the rest of June 2019. I appreciate y'all for being here. Y'all are greatly appreciated every day of my life. I love y'all. Let's get started. So while I was um, grounding myself, um, somebody's kicking the dirt off their feet. It's a lot of light around somebody. It was just, it kind of, like, so much light that it was bothering me. So much light that it was bothering me. That was weird. Um, for all the decks that I use, um, Mystical Monday. They're all on um, Amazon. I got this from Walmart. It's a 50, classic, so classical 52 deck. I got Mystical Mondays from Amazon. Angels of Abundance. The Psychic Tarot and the Everyday Tarot. All of these came from Amazon. And yeah. So y'all definitely are dealing with an air sign. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I'm sorry. Hold on. I want y'all to be able to see this one. Okay. My favorite cards. All right, Scorpios. <laughs> um. So the Ace of Cups is about somebody offering love it could be coming from a fire sign um 
with the shadow card being the five of swords somebody's picking up their stuff and just leaving um it's, it's got to be a fire sign somebody got offered another cup of love is what i just heard whoa whoa crazy it's going crazy all right <laughs> When it comes to justice, that's Libra energy, which I think y'all dealing with an air sign. It's too much air here for it to not be an air sign. Like, what? So, with the underlying energy being the Four of Pentacles, I'm thinking that when it comes to legal obligations, like, it's leaving you close to none. Or somebody's being left with close to none where they're having to hold on to what they got. Um, your stability is making you very anxious. Why does somebody feel... I felt very nonchalant saying that. So somebody is very nonchalant when talking about, like, your instability. Like, they don't care at all. I did not like how I said this. So somebody is really just like this. Like, I don't, I don't really care. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. Um, but it's, it's stressing you to freak out. It's stressing you to freak out. All right? You just like, what the heck? Um, the Ten of um, the ten of Cups. Yeah. The Ten of Wands. I mean, yeah, the Ten of Wands is about a burden. So maybe some earth sign. Some man in a suit. Some man in a suit. Either he coming to put a burden on or coming to take a burden off. We will see what that is about. An Aquarius wants to show. Okay, this is how I'm putting it. It could be somebody who you always wanted is coming to share ideas or an Aquarius specifically is one to share ideas. It's everything you ever wanted. You have hope in this relationship, anything like that. So here we go. When we're getting down to the nitty gritty, what is this Ace of Cups about? What is this Ace of Cups about for Scorpios? Oh, it's definitely a fire sign. Um, they're standing their ground. They're basically letting it all out of how they feel. And it's the Knight of Pentacles. But it's coming slow. They want to let out everything they feel. But they stand their ground with being slow about it. What? That could be you or somebody to you? Why? Alright, hold up. I'm going to ask why. Why are they being slow about it? Too many, too many, too many. Why are they being slow about it? Why are they being slow? That doesn't help me. they just being stagnant. they just stuck. What? They juggling something else. They got something else to worry about. They probably, um, they're trying to juggle family and. Mm, 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 mm. They being slow because they need to get away from their family situation before they can offer you anything. What the heck? Scorpios. Uh -huh. I don't like that person. <laughs> How you gonna leave a whole child and wife behind just to go and be with this fire sign? Three of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's trying to leave somebody behind. They're trying to, somebody's getting divorced right now. And they're um leaving behind a wife and child. Um Wow. It's going to leave somebody living, like, really heartbroken. Ew. But balance is going to come in for somebody. Whoa. Yeah. Somebody's making a decision to go to court, get a divorce. But the karmic wheel is going to turn in somebody else's favor. Now, who is this person? Who's this gonna turn for? Person worrying. 
So maybe um, if this is you worried about your stability or worried about your household, stop worrying. I can't say stop worrying. Like, that's so fucking cliche and nonchalant speaking. But it's like you have nothing to worry about. Um, you're not alone. Many people do go through it. Uh, I don't know. Find some um, groups on Facebook or anything where it can help you get through this um through this heartbreak Dang, that's that's so freaking nonchalant of somebody like for real that's like you don't even care ew that's so disgusting that's some disgusting behavior i'm sorry i'm sorry if you're dealing with that and i'm sorry if you're quash watching and you're doing it i'm so sorry but it's so it's not appropriate we should treat people how we wanted to be treated um and somebody shouldn't be leaving to offer somebody else something. If you leave, you should leave to be by yourself, not to be right with the next person. That means that you've been dealing with this person since you've been with me. That's disrespectful. Anyways. short for this <laughs> I'm so short okay the nine of wands the nine hold up the nine of wands the nine of swords the nine of swords I cannot <sighs> okay Stand your ground. Do not worry. Do not worry. But stand your ground. You'll get more out of standing your ground than just cowering in a corner. Do not be this. Be this. Be this all day. Okay? Because um, you could be. Wow, we only got one cup card. You could have fire in your chart. You could have air in your chart. You could have um, earth in your chart, which I don't see that many earth. You could have air in your chart for real. Um, okay. Yeah. When it comes to fighting, do not stress. When it comes to this, don't stress. Stand your ground, but don't get belligerent. Do not do something that you will regret. You're gonna you're gonna come out of this. Look, look at this. Wow. Wow. One second. What is this ten of wands about? Another nine came out. Somebody trying to make you stress about some money. Somebody giving you the burden of a lot of bills. I just heard bills. Like bills, bills, bills. They left this house to you. They went on and left and left the house to you to deal with. That's some BS, dude. That's some BS, dude. That's some BS. You're going to get a job that you always wanted. Somebody's getting a job that they always wanted. Whoa. Yeah, see, somebody's 
I don't think that was up for here. I think that was for down here, actually. Whoever this fire sign is, I don't know if it's you or if it's another person because this is definitely a third party situation. The three came out, but I think this is work also. And the star card is about something that you've always wanted. Like all your wishes are going to become granted. So maybe you're going to get a new job and it's going to be able to take care of this house. That's why I'm saying do not stress. Whatever it is, whatever this burden is and whoever this <clears throat> is, um, they will be handled. Just know that they will be handled. You do not have to handle them. You do not have to come out of character. They will be handled. Okay? Yeah. You could, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna go in your favor. Whoever this is, they tricking, they tricking, they tricking somebody. It could be I'm feeling it's not you. I don't feel it's you. I feel like it's either the person who you're getting a divorce from or the person who they're dealing with. Somebody's getting a trick because somebody still has options on the table. Somebody is not that person's only option. So they're getting a trick right now. That's my trickster card or joker card for real. They're getting a trick right now. Don't feel trapped. Do not feel trapped. Don't feel trapped. If you got to sell the house, sell the house. I don't know why I keep feeling like it's like property. If you have to sell the house, sell the house. If you got to pay to get the, a divorce from this person, pay to get the divorce. Your money is going to be good at the end anyways. Your money is going to be good at the end anyways. This is probably... This, this most likely, and the Wheel of Fortune came out, so yeah, this is most likely going to be able to pay for the house. It's going to be able to get you a new car so you can go to your new job. It's going to be able to make you look like this. It's like you you're, you began looking like this, like, oh my God, I got all these bills because he, he did this. But then you'd be all icy and clean, like women, men, it don't matter, either way. Either way, um, seven. yeah, somebody's trying to be very sneaky, but it's going to come back on them because whoever this is, they're playing games. <laughs> they have a lot of cups. They're sticking it everywhere. They're sticking it everywhere. And they're trying to be sneaky. What is this? Not a, King of Pentacles. Yeah. They're giving to a lot of people. They're being sneaky about giving, but it's not going to end up in their favor. It's not going to end up in their favor. I just keep getting that. It's not going to end up how they think it's going to end up. Who's being sneaky in this situation? What is this deception and secrets about? What is this deception and secrets about? Yep. everywhere a message is gonna come in very swift it's gonna provide somebody with a lot of clarity whoa same card princess of swords page of swords what is this princess of swords about dang the ten of wands are you serious y'all getting double cards having to balance bills You're gonna move. You releasing this burden. You getting this job and you releasing this burden of all these bills that this man left or a woman left, whoever, because it could go either way. So whoever left, you're releasing this burden. You're moving. This is the eight of ones. You're moving. You're out. You're out of there. You just look. You taking it into your own hands. You becoming untrapped. It's probably a slow process. Don't worry about it. Because look, you end up in victory. You pick up your stuff and leave. That's what the Five of Swords is about. 
you get it together and you you land on your feet you good you're you're straight you're like soaring through the sky <laughs> i just got soaring through the sky you're gonna be okay let them move on and do whatever they're doing over here because at the end whoever being sneaky it's not gonna work out for them it's not gonna work out for them it's gonna land it's gonna work out for you why do i keep getting divorces I mean, I don't keep getting divorcees, so I, can't, I guess I can't say that. But it's not bad being a divorcee. If it didn't work, it didn't work. If somebody being sneaky and not respecting you, move on. It's better to respect yourself than to let somebody disrespect you so they can have respect on their, their side. Like, you're ending these cycles of just sticking with this and you're moving on. All of those old cycles are coming to an end. <sighs> And you're gonna go through heartache and loss because it's a divorce but you'll be okay you're gonna come out okay your dream career can take over um, you can start working on your dream career part-time while your other job pays your bills which is these bills so the job you always wanted, just start it. Just start it because in a matter of no time, and, and it might come slow in our own perception of time, whatever you think is slow. If you think a month is slow, then a month, a month is slow to you, okay? But a month is not slow to me, shoot. But in a matter of time, your other job, hold on. Your uh, dream job will eventually just start fully supporting you. It'll take flight and fully support you. So that's all. I'm going to get you one more card. Do the work. It's not enough to pray. It's not enough to dream or pray. You also have to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Constantly working on your priorities will make them flourish like a, like a lush flower garden. It's such a pretty card. I love this card. So, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I'm sorry that I... Basically, I don't know if I confirmed something for you. I don't know. But comment if I did. Like if it resonated. And I appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all next time when I do y'all readings. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. Whatever. Whatever is happening right now. It's only for right now. It's only for right now. Put your foot down. That's what I just felt like when I banged them cards. Put your foot down. And know that this is not forever. This is not forever. That energy is not forever. You're going to get through it. You are. It's going to be all right. And <laughs> everything's going to work out in your favor. So that's all you need to worry about. Okay, Scorpio or Cross Watcher, whoever it is. Whatever it is. Um... <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy, and I'll see y'all next time.